Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be doing a heat test and scratch resistance test on some coasters. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be testing six different resins that I've um, used on my channel. All of these coaster sets I've made on my channel previously. I'll link all the videos down below. This first uh, set we're going to be doing is general use epoxy from the epoxy resin store and this set here is three quarters of the way clear cast 70 50 and general use epoxy i use that to fill up the rest of the way um, in my coasters i use the first two thirds clear cast 70 50 and filled up the rest of my mold with the general use epoxy so what i did i have four different size cups boiled some water let them sit on the coasters in the cups for 10 minutes and you can see on this set the general use epoxy all the cups are sticking and they all left rings and dents in the coasters um, this one left a little bit of condensation and there was a ring from the cup and on this one you can see the cup stuck a little bit and there was a little bit of a dent from the cup and you can see also these coasters are a lot thicker than the original set um, so I might have to do some further testing but the cups still stuck to the coasters and that's really not what you're wanting when you're making coasters so this resin I'm testing is the stone coat countertops art coat and I'm also going to be testing naked fusion resin same thing boiling water 10 minutes gonna let it sit in the cups then we're gonna lift the cups and see what happens and i wanted to use different sized cups just to see you know if maybe a lighter cup wouldn't stick versus a heavier cup so on these ones the 10 minutes passed i'm lifting the cups off there was a ring of condensation um this is the stone coat countertops art coat but the cups did not stick at all and there was no ring or indentation or dent or scratch on the surface of the coaster from the cups so i was really happy with that test um, these coasters i actually bought from an auction from display of color i'll link her channel down below she does some really awesome art on her channel and same thing with the naked fusion resin um, the cups didn't stick there was no visible dent or scratch on the surface of the coaster so naked fusion did really well um, in this test now we're gonna try better boat um, again I made almost all of these sets um, on my channel if you guys want to check out how I made these I'll link those videos down below and we're gonna set the timer pour in the boiling water let it sit for 10 minutes and see how it does so it's been 10 minutes we're gonna go ahead and lift up the cups now this one I didn't have too many stick but all of the cups left pretty visible dents from the rim of the cup and it's not something that you can just kind of rub off it's an actual impression um, so that one didn't really pass the heat test and you can kind of see right here there's a big dent from the cup so that's not something you know you would want obviously if you were going to be selling your coasters but what you could do is just do a clear top coat with a more heat resistance resin and this one here is the ks resin liquid stone countertop resin same thing boiling water let the cup sit for 10 minutes and then we will pull them off and see how they did so the this set i did have condensation from the boiling water in the cups but there was no visible markings and no sticking none of the cups stuck to the coasters you know you would hate to sell or gift a set of coasters and then have someone you know go to grab their cup and then the coaster fall and hit him on the toe that's happened to me before so it's definitely not pleasant and I wanted to upload this video I wanted to test all these resins out to see you know if you really want to make coasters and stuff that you need heat resistant resin for it's good to know what you want to use especially if you're going to be selling your coasters or gifting them so what i would do my final thoughts are stone coat countertops 
um, art coat and the KS resin countertop resin both did really well along with the Naked Fusion. So I would say those three were pretty much a tie. Um, the KS resin uh, countertop epoxy, their liquid stone, is more, the most affordable out of those three resins. Um, the Naked Fusion you can get on Amazon. So what I think I'm going to do is continue using the general use epoxy from the epoxy resin store and I will be top coating everything with the KS resin liquid stone epoxy. For me, that's the most cost-effective way to do everything. Um, it might be better for you if you want to just use the liquid stone, um, you know, to make your coasters and pour everything in liquid stone. The liquid stone is about $75 a gallon, and the general use epoxy is about $40 a gallon. So it is quite a bit of different in cost when you could just pour with the general use epoxy and do a clear coat with the liquid stone. Or you could do a clear top coat with the Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat or the Naked Fusion Resin. These were the only um, sets of coasters that I still had to test, but I am going to be doing further testing in the future. I have a few more different resins to try testing on. And by no means am I meaning, you know, this resin's bad, don't use it. They're all good resins. You can use them, but for coasters, um, you definitely want to top coat them with something that has the heat resistance and scratch resistance. And same thing with your art too, your functional art, um, trays, stuff like that, that people are going to be using. You definitely want to do a top coat with something that has that scratch resistance. And I have a video showing you step-by-step -step how to do a clear resin top coat. If you want to check out that video, I'll link it down below in the description box. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please leave me a like, hit that thumbs up, please subscribe, and leave me any questions or comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing good, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye!